the governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja, has dissolved the board of Mamelusi Kabaki Hospital with immediate effect in response to the negative attention received after a video of a pregnant woman's unpleasant experience at the hospital went viral. A new board has been appointed, and the Health County Executive Committee has confirmed that the hospital is in the process of recruiting a new CEO. The press release also stated the appointment of a new medical superintendent. The recruitment process for a new CEO for Mamelusi Kabaki Hospital and other Level 5 facilities is ongoing and advanced, Governor Sakaja said. The hospital reported that the 26-year-old woman had a stillbirth two to three days prior to visiting the facility. On Saturday, April 15, 2023, she went to the hospital, but her ultrasound results indicated that the baby was already dead. According to the hospital, the ultrasound scan results confirmed that the patient had experienced intrauterine fetal death, IUFD, at 38 weeks and 5 days. Nevertheless, the governor criticized the hospital, saying that the situation should have been handled differently. He emphasized that his promise is to treat citizens with the utmost dignity and care, despite the prior condition of the patient and the baby.